everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've come on today, well it's going to be this week actually, I am away in Tenerife this week with uh, my family but I decided to come on and do a gift bag week. So it'll be Monday to Friday, back to back videos of gift bags and today I'm going to start off with um, a male gift bag. I've got some, I've pulled out some stamps um, and these are stamps from BB Craft. I did share them a while ago, oops, on my channel probably about a month since but I just picked out a few stamps you got around about 15 and um, thought this one would be nice for some male gift tags and things so that is what we're going to be doing today a little on there a sentiment one there but if you want to go back on my channel have a look you will see um, you'll see so what I've done is I've just pulled out a few scrap pieces of card things like that I have not got any idea in my head I'm just going with it so I've chosen these two pieces of um, designer paper they're just ones that I had in my stash I think they're really quirky really manly this is like a travel one with some nice stripes on so this is what we're going to do I'm going to use this one today I think and I've just pulled out some inks that I think might coordinate with the paper so we're going to make a large gift bag today and um, so you're going to need your scoreboard and I'm going to keep this paper at 12 by 12 inches and it's going to be a really simple gift bag but one that you could switch out and change to suit whatever occasion you're doing it for it doesn't have to be for a man so I'm just going to come straight in and um, let's see Okay, uh, go, 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 go. so we'll make it two inches wide, so we'll go two inches, score two inches, five and a half, seven and a half, and eleven, and then turn and score at two inches. Okay, and then yeah that's going to be it <laughs> so some of these gift bags that i do might be similar during the week so i couldn't have picked a more busier paper to do it on actually okay so you just want to fold burnish on your score lines if you can see them this will teach me not to use this paper next time <laughs> I've just had it I think I've had this in my stash since I first started paper crafting and I don't really make many male projects wow that is tricky to see Make sure you choose a paper that you can see. Um, where is it? There it is. And then at the bottom. I'm sure you're all laughing at me now. There we go. Just had my holiday nails done yesterday matching um, toes right so that's going to be the gift bag so what I'm going to do which I forgot to do is just pop it back in and on the two inch um, strip sides we're just going to score right down to about nine inches just going to help it fold a little more easier so score that at one inch and this at six and a half down to about nine inches like so, and then, then you'll have trouble folding it, <laughs> but it can be done. Okay. Okay. I'll just fold that down to about there. So then what I'm going to do is cut. <coughs> Need a good clean. 
so if you can see we've got this one inch strip on this side there's a rectangle here that's a bit better there's a rectangle here you want to cut that off Oops, paper's quite big so we'll just cut that and then notch a little bit so you'll have that and then you want to cut up these squares This is going to be, like I said, a really simple one. Just quick and easy simple bags that you could make for any occasion, for craft fairs, if you need a really quick bag <clears throat> as a gift or anything. Then this will be quite easy and simple to do. And you can reinforce the bottom if you just add a piece of card in, if you're wanting a more heavier gift. Oops. Okay, so there's what you should have. And then if you could just notch the top a little bit. Right. And then when you close that up, that should sit just a second. Just one minute. Okay, I'm packed. What I did was notched on the wrong side. I've notched on this side. I didn't mean to do it. You need to notch on this side. So then on the thin strip, like I said, I should have definitely used a less busier paper. But it's okay for the video. So on the long strip, you just want to pop some glue on there. And... that over so because I've already notched there I don't really want to fold it flat I'll hold and fold <laughs> and you're probably not going to see that notch because the paper is so busy anyway but you do just want to Then what you want to do is just fold in your bottom tabs and I find the So folding in the two bottom tabs and then gluing up the front tab as well. Okay, so this is the bag. Nice and quick and simple. Oops. There's the bag, so that's really nice. a nice little gift bag. And then just to finish that off, I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, just pop my pin back in. Well, it's so early in the morning for me. <laughs> so, I think what we're going to use. I'm going to take some of this green card and the cream. Let's move this to one side. I'm going to take my trimmer and we're going to cut a two inch strip. So, okay, that's not a straight edge. So, let's just make a quick straight edge. So now we'll cut a two inch strip um, by, what shall we do, four and a half and then we'll do this one two inches as well and we'll do this by four and a quarter. Okay, so we've got the strips, <clears throat> and then if you've got a punch or anything, 
which I've got the Stampin' Up um, is it the Banner Punch. I've got. So I'm just going to put them in because that's two inches wide and then create a nice little banner there. And then this one, the same, that one. And then it'll just overhang then so you can just see that bit of green. But before we attach anything, I am going to stamp it. So I'm just going to take a piece of copier paper and a stamp. Let's have a look. So these stamps from BB Craft do come in a pack. I think it's 15 or 13 stamps. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use the guitar because my husband is a singer um, in a band and they play the guitar. So I'm going to just stamp the guitar. I don't want it to be neat, so oops. Stamping it like this is fine. Um just rough and all over the place will do. It's not even a guitar, it might be a violin. <laughs> oh dear. Never mind. It's still a musical instrument and that's what I'm looking for, so that's fine. Um <clears throat> so yeah. So that's fine for that. And then we want to take a sentiment. So this stamp set doesn't have a sentiment. So let's find one that does. Um I think I'll have it's your birthday. <coughs> Will I? Or maybe send in love. I'll have send in love because then I can just send my husband love whenever I like so I can do that for any occasion. Da, 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 da. No, I can't find it then. So let me. Quite a big block. You don't need a block that big, obviously, but zoom in a little bit just so you can see. And then let's find a place to. There, that's fine. So <clears throat> then we can pop the tags together. I think I might just offset them a little bit. So let's just use our glue. And we can just offset the tags. Just making sure that the opening is together. And then what I think I'll do is just taking my gift bag, I want to punch a couple of holes in. <clears throat> Where's the front? There's the front. Actually, I'll punch a hole in it. One. So I kind of eyeball it in the centre. I've got some blue seam binding. Just need something to poke that through. Let's have a look. That's not going to work. Mm, just a minute. There we go. I usually use my scoring tool to poke ribbon through. Pull that through and wrap it over, and then <clears throat> if I can't make a bow, we'll have a knot. Probably can't make a bow now with these nails on. Not bad. No, that's not bad at all. for the end and then we could pop the tag on oh hope you saw that let's where shall we put the tag we'll have the tag one minute 
yeah we'll put the tag there I'm going to use some of the phone tape I've got from BB Craft as well to just pop that up and it's really nice strong phone tape it keeps its hold as well which is really nice it doesn't go flat it's quite a good thickness there so we'll just push that under there and there we go so you've just got a nice quick and easy little gift bag and I really like that even though it's took me 15 minutes um, I hope you like that I hope you'll give it a go it's really good thanks for watching see you again next time bye